Welcome back guys, episode eight today of me trying to explain or possibly debunk a bunch of UFO videos that you guys have shared with me on our Discord and you can do the same. The link is in the description to our Discord. You can join it for free, post the clips that you want me to look at that you think are possibly hard to debunk, post them in the general chat or just DM them to me as many of you have done. And if the clips take all the boxes, they're a bit mysterious, they're visually intriguing and they're more than 240p, then I might include them in the show and try my best to debunk them. Also, before we get into today's clips, I know I I asked you guys for a name and a lot of you guys sent me messages like, dude, we came up with plenty of good names. Why have you still not chosen a name for the show? And yes, that's true. You guys did send me great name suggestions. Um, I have a short list of some of the best ones. I haven't made my mind up yet. So feel free to give me more suggestions. If you're new to the show, you're watching for the first time and you might have a great idea for how the show should be called, then please leave that down in the comment section below. The only requirement that I didn't say last time, and that's really my own fault, is like I want to keep it a bit more general, okay? I don't want the word UFO in the name because I might debunk some cryptids, I might debunk some other paranormal videos that I find. So if you got a good name idea that is a little bit more general and is not like a direct nudge only towards UFOs, then please leave it down in the comments. Also, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, I said already, this is episode eight. I'll link a playlist with all previous episodes down in the description. But enough of this. Let's get into the first video. The first clip that you guys shared with me is a really cool one. Okay, I love this clip. It's called UFO going into a hill and it shows a cigar shaped object flying over a foresty area and then kind of just protruding what looks like into a hill or at least behind the trees. Let's take a look. So you can see the object there. There's just some ominous music in the background, so we don't need to play that. I don't know if it's if it's copyrighted. And you can kind of see it's a light object. It is elongated. It has a little bit of an irregularity in the back there, right? You notice this. The back of the object seems to have a little bit of something protruding here, right? That kind of takes it out of it just being a geometric object. Also notice, as it flies through these trees, it flies behind this tree, but in front of this tree. Okay, so it gives us a little bit of a distance and a scale. I mean, we don't know how tall or big these trees are. Another point to mention is, and that kind of convinces me that this is real footage, that it's not CGI, that someone actually filmed this object uh, with a real camera, is how it protrudes or flies behind this tree. Because look at it, it flies through, and you can see these ever so slight white pieces or light pieces like shining through that tree. I'm not saying that's impossible, but you see this here, like very, very subtle white effects going through the tree. Again, not saying this is impossible to fake. Obviously you can fake this uh, using CGI, but this is where it kind of gets tricky. When you have something that's very brushy, that has loads of leaves and small details, now you want to have an object that CGI fly behind it. That's a pain to do. That's a pain to get that uh, to look really realistic. So. To be honest, looking at this here, it kind of looks perfect to me, which tells me that this, again, is probably a real object that was filmed. Also note, we're zooming in significantly here. Often these cameras, I assume this was a mobile phone camera, they automatically apply the sharpening filters if you zoom in enough, so you get like black lines, top and bottom of the object here, which is not part of the object, right? This is just the camera with a heavy zoom, trying to sharpen this object and, and bring it out a little bit more, hence giving it these kind of outlines. It's a sharpening effect and you can see it on all the other trees and the detail down here on the trees as well. However, then as it keeps flying and flies into these trees here, that again, like there was like, oh, I don't know, man, that looks a little bit dodgy to me. In the first, in the first showing, actually, you can see it slightly better. Check it out how it flies into the trees. I don't know, it almost seems to disappear there in the end. Do you see that? It seems to almost disappear. So uh, that again, like that gives me a little bit of a hiccup of it possibly being CGI. You, did you see this? In the end, it just disappears. Poof, it poofs away. So I love this clip. I think it's fascinating. I think it's really cool. It could be CGI. I don't think it is, but I think I found a quite reasonable explanation what we are looking at here. Any ideas? Do you got, you got any thoughts on this? You can leave that down in the comments as well, but until I really looked into this and read a few other comments, I was not aware that this is a thing, and that is cable logging. Okay, so there's a whole Wikipedia page talking about this. And what cable logging basically is, is they're transporting large pieces of wood, logs, tree trunks along zip wires. And you can see it here. Obviously, this is like a longer piece and it's got a bigger harness up here. And because it's long and, and thin, this one wobbles around. But it's a, it's a fairly common practice in heavily, densely forested areas, which 
this clearly is, right? You look at the right-hand side, there's loads of wood. You look at the left-hand side. So the idea is you need to transport these heavy logs from one side of the hill across the valley to the other side of the hill. And the simplest and quickest way is just to attach it to a zip line. Make sure the zip line goes ever so slightly downhill so that the tree trunk doesn't get too much momentum so that it might be too fast and get gain too much momentum upon impact. And that's exactly what we see here, right? It flies along a straight line. That line seems to just have like a light incline, right? It's not a very steep incline. And hence this log seems to fly across that zip wire. And that would also e explain the little indentation in the back here, which which I assume is whatever holds the log in place. Now, I couldn't find too many videos of these logs flying in a horizontal position. Most of them seem to be attached in the manner that you see here. But I think if you have two of these harnesses next to each other, who knows how they're doing that in this specific spot, you should absolutely be able to attach a big log as the one you see here with two spots, and then it would fly down, down the zip line, fly quotation marks in a horizontal manner as we see it in the video. Now, a lot of you guys may say, well, 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 hold on a second, sir. I do not see any zip wire, okay? He's even zooming in. I can't see anything, okay? There's nothing that would indicate that there's actually a wire or a line that holds this in place. And to that, I would say, if you check the Wikipedia article, you get this image and look at the wires that they're actually using for this cable haul logging, as they call it. They are not super thick. Okay, they're not like crazy thick wires. I mean, they do need to hold some weight, obviously. But if these are like steel wires, they don't need to be crazy thick. And you can see that even down here, like what is this, like seven, eight meters away from this actual machinery, it already disappears. You can barely see the wire going down into the woods here. And that's because it disappears in the brush. It disappears with the, the busyness of the background. And keep in mind, this is like a super crisp image, right? This is like a perfectly crisp photo. While this footage, I mean, just look at it, right? It's blurry, it's grainy. You can see the camera trying to get some focus on it by artificially sharpening the object. This is exactly the condition that would make a thin zip wire disappear. You just wouldn't see it. If this would be 4K footage and you wouldn't see the wire, I wouldn't make this suggestion. I think then I would change my mind. But I think in the manner that it moves in this very straight line, this very straight tra trajectory, it just gives away that it most probably hangs on some kind of pulley, which is attached to a wire that we just can't see due to the garbage film quality. So as much as I love this clip, I think it's really cool. I think it's really intriguing. And the ominous music they put over it <laughs> really adds to it. But... I have to say, I don't buy it. The, the fact that it kind of disappears so weirdly uh, as soon as it uh, penetrates the trees here, which is really weird. I don't know, man. That kind of pushes me into the CGI direction again a little bit. But whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's not aliens. Okay, it, it's it's something else and it's pretty much explainable. So I would say it at this point, it's at least explained. I'm not sure I can debunk it because all these are just theories. But the fact that this is aliens, it just, it's just it doesn't make much sense. Let's move on to the next video. So the next clip is not just one clip. The next clip is actually a few clips and they describe more a phenomenon that's currently circulating in like the uh, fields of ufology and all the UFO subreddits and so on. And that is that people are witnessing rotating silver cubes in various locations across the US. And uh, I want to share a bunch of clips with you guys because if it would just be this one clip, I don't think it would be worth sharing. But let's take a look and see what we think about whether these are the same objects. And let's, let's, take, a, let's take a look at the first clip. So he said he's, there's jump, he's jumping back and forth. That's what he's claiming. Looks to me like he's moving the camera, but fair enough. I'm on Glenstone in Springfield, Missouri. That is a cube spinning on an axis. Flickering. It's got lights around it. In the middle of the day. Right. So few things to note here. He says this is a cube spinning on its own axis. It looks very much like a silvery object to me. It's got lights around it, which already makes me question the credibility of this, of this observer, because if it's a silvery object and a cube that spins around and it's a clear day in the middle of the day, as he said, it's a blue sky. Presumably there's some sun there as well. I mean, dude, one of those sides of this cube will inevitably in its rotation reflect the sun. So for him to automatically assume that there are some lights around it, maybe he could see it as he was filming it, like some detail that we can't see from this rather blurry video. But to me, 
the only thing I take away from this commentary is it's a cube, it's a silvery cube that's spinning on its own axis, okay? And it's the middle of the day, clearly. So again, this video in and of itself, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know, man, that's too easy to explain. I wouldn't share this with you guys. However, there's another video. The previous one was, as he said, shot in Springfield, Missouri. This one was filmed at a festival in Santa Cruz, okay? And I can't play it with because there's music in the background, but the guy who films it doesn't really give uh, any commentary. So again, it does look very similar, right? Like a cubic object spinning around its own axis. Notice that it's always the right-hand side uh, that seems to be flickering, right? Like whenever the rotation spins so that the right side kind of matches the sun, that's when you can see like the light flickering. And there's a bit more of the footage. Again, it's it's just a very, very small object. And if, if you know my videos, then you know, like, look how it's moving with the wind here. My alarm bells go off. So at this point, I'm like, yeah, okay. I mean, they do look similar. Is it worth talking about this? I'm not sure. But then I stumbled across this clip. And this is the third clip in the row. And this is slightly different. This was shot uh, in Florida at the Miami Air and Sea Show. And you can see this jet, and this is not what I'm talking about. You can see this jet, I don't know, doing some kind of showcase, right? Flying over, over the beach, Miami Beach here. And uh, then the guy who filmed this slows down the footage. So he filmed it with like a high frame rate. And then you will see an object coming from the bottom right hand side here from the water going to the top left. And it does look very similar. So check this out. Jet flies, footage slows down and there it is. Do you see that? flying across the screen. And a lot of people, uh, the ufologists, right, on the Reddit, sub subreddits, are like, dude, it's coming from the water. Oh my God. And, and I'm like, no, dude, there is no way of saying that. You can't. Like, if you look at this frame by frame, you see this is where it appears. This is kind of the first frame that we get of it. And there's just no way of really saying that it comes from the water. If you would say that that little white dot here is actually it's splashing out of the water or something, if that would be the case, then it would be a rather big object. And even it's very fast. I mean, let's be honest, it made that, that jet look like a bitch, right? It zips past with a speed that's just insane. <laughs> but if it would really protrude from the water, then this would be a rather big object. And I think a lot of people would have witnessed it. And maybe people would have spoken about it more. It seems to be that this is the only footage and the only witness report, so to say, that we have of this footage. So we have those three clips. And admittedly, the last one, the super slow motion one here, is kind of intriguing, right? It's like, hold on a second. All these, these objects look kind of similar. The first two, probably easier to explain. The last one, if it's in keeping with the rest, probably more tricky to explain. Now, I can't debunk this 100%, but I think there are a few points that I want to mention in terms of rationality. First of all, to assume that all of these are the same object, considering that one is in like Springfield, Missouri, the second one was filmed, I think, in Santa Cruz, and then the last one in Miami, like these locations are geographically rather far away. And of course, you can always make the argument and say, well, those UFOs, bro, from Santa Cruz to Miami, they can do this in the blink of an eye, okay? Light speed, bro. Sure, if that's where your head is at, I mean, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below, but just if this would all have been filmed within a week in, let's say, Los Angeles, I'd be like, okay, that's interesting. But all the footage was recorded geographically quite far uh, apart from one another. So my theory is that these are not the same object at all. And it is just the UFO believers jumping to conclusions because they look similar. The first one, the Springfield, Missouri one, I'm pretty confident is just a silver balloon, okay? And I know, I know, it's a balloon. He said it's a balloon. But you can buy these cubic balloons. People buy them. Balloons don't need to be round all the time. And this is exactly what it is. If it would catch some momentum spinning around in the sky, then it would ex look exactly like what we have in this clip. So I think that's what the first one is. The second one that we see over these tents here, um, could also be the same thing, right? It's a festival. People bring balloons or whatnot. Maybe they even sell them there to these festivals. So one escapes, flies over. Also, I mean, dude, it's a festival. You have things like drones recording things like that, right? So if it's a drone that has a silver finish, it could also be that. I mean, let's be honest, the, the footage itself is so blurry and it lacks the crispness uh, that we would need to determine what it actually is. It does look kind of like a spinning cube, but... We can't really say. So I think it might just be a balloon, considering it's a festival. It might be a drone that is recording the festival, but to jump to the conclusion of saying aliens uh, is, uh, I mean, it's just, it doesn't make much sense to me. Now, the third one, the Miami Airshow one, slightly more challenging. And I can't for certain say this is 
exactly what it is or give you a debug that like reassures you that that's exactly what it is. However, there's still a few points there to make, uh, I think. First of all, I don't think it came from the water at all. What I think this is, is an object that flies much closer to the camera. And that's why we get this incredible speed. I think this is like probably a meter or two away from the camera and not at all at the distance of this jet. And even if it would be at the distance of this jet or closer to it, how small is that? Like, what the hell is that, right? Are we getting like little micro UFOs now? Is still someone sitting in there? Are they just like some kind of drones that scope us out? Or what's the story there? Like the size of it just doesn't make much sense. So my theory on here becomes a little bit clearer once you look at this clip without the without the slow motion, okay? And I'm gonna play this for you guys. This is the same clip. It's very fast, so it's a little bit hard to see. But again, you know roughly from where to where it flies. Keep an eye on this. Did you see it? There it was. Zoop. And looking at this, I think it's pretty clear what it is. To me, this is an insect, okay? This is a small insect that flies very close to the camera, maybe a meter or two away. That's also why nobody else is reacting to it. That's why it wasn't captured. I mean, you can see there are other people filming. It's an air show, okay? Every, every camera on this beach is probably currently aimed at that freaking jet in the air. Why is there no other footage, right? Why is nobody else coming forward and saying, yeah, I also captured, also captured this huge object that then came from the water and at like crazy speed flew over us? Well, the reason is because it's just a tiny insect. And the reason why it might be shimmering could literally be in super slow motion. You know, sometimes you get these artifacts from the compression. It struggles to capture the tiny detail. It could also be if it's like a dragonfly or something, they have highly reflective wings they reflect the sun, but it might just be far enough away that you can't identify it for the shape that it actually is. And instead you just see like a little black dot that blinks every now and then because the wings of, of the inf insects uh, reflect the sun. I don't know if it is that, but I think looking at this clip at actual speed, it looks so much more like a little insect. It has like what feels like the exact perfect speed of like some kind of small insect flying very close to the camera. So again, I think the lesson we're learning here is the UFO community just always jumps to conclusions. They're like, oh, look at this. This looks like this other footage. It's got to be the same object. It's like, no, bro, it's it could be the same object, but it could also not be. And it could literally, the first two could be the same object because it's a silvery squared balloon that reflects in the sun and that's why it looks similar. Oh my God, man, the lack of critical thinking in this community. So the last one was slightly harder to debunk, but please let me know your thoughts, okay? These are just my theories. I look at this footage, I share this with you guys. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below whether you agree or disagree with me. Let's move on to the last clip of the day. So this clip was filmed in South Africa, allegedly in 2003. The original poster up here, the OP kind of got it wrong. He admitted that in the comments. <laughs> You know, we're doing very thorough research here. We just messed up the year. It's not from 2023. Now, the, the stamp on the screen says 2003. Doesn't necessarily mean that it is actually a clip from 2003. Maybe this dude filmed the whole beach scene in 2003, for example. But just recently, because this has been circulating in the last month or something, this video. And then he later took the footage from 2003 and augmented the, the UFO over it, right, with CGI, for example. But let's take a look. Again, it's filmed uh, in South Africa. There's a YouTube link. And this really looks like quite retro, right? It takes me all the way back to Bob Lazar's sports model. It takes me back to Billy Meyer's beam ships. It's vintage, bro. It's like serious vintage UFO stuff. And I quite like it. I think it's cool. You can see it zipping away there in the end, right? At insane speed. And this is like, a, this is so funny, right? Because a lot of people always comment like, did you see how quickly it zipped away? It, it has to be real, right? Because no human being would possibly survive. And it's like, yeah, I know. Dude, there's a million other options what it could be before it actually determined that this is a real object zipping at this speed. And then there's this famous Bob Lazar theory that uh, these ships have their own gravitational field sitting around them. So that's why they can accelerate and do these hardcore 90 degree angles without smashing the pilots or whatever is inside the ship uh, to bits. But there's a few things in this clip that I want to point out to you guys that make me question its authenticity. First of all, the UFO is not centered, okay? The UFO kind of sits weirdly on the right-hand side and it's like, why would anyone film it that way? Admittedly, the sun reflection of it, that looks pretty authentic, right? It does really look like it's part of the film in the sense that it was really there. But I mean, that can be solved as well 
with a suspended model, for example, right? Maybe someone just had a play with it. Also note, even he's linking the original uh, YouTube clip, like the reference clip here, it's the same clip. It just sits on YouTube and it, it's not widescreen. We never get any copy as far as I'm aware of this clip at full widescreen. So someone cropped into it for some reason. Maybe it literally was just to upload it to YouTube Shorts or to TikTok or whatever, but that raises questions for me as well. Like if this would be real, where's the actual widescreen footage? Why do we cut off the date and time down there? It, it just looks kind of fake based on that. And then as a last point, there are just really always these just common sense questions about something like this. Like why is, if this would be a thing somewhere in South Africa, I mean, presumably maybe the guy was the only person at the beach who saw that. But if he wouldn't be the only person, surely there would be other people who would have filmed this. Also, what, what, are, what are the aliens doing, right? They're like, let me show you my spaceship. I shall hover over the beach on South Africa for everyone to see. <laughs> it just makes no sense, right? It makes no sense that aliens would hover over a beach somewhere in South Africa without, I don't know, man, like they, they traverse all these light years or whatever to come to this planet and then they're not able to camouflage their ship, cloak themselves so we can't really see them. They're like, nope, I want to be visible and I want to hover over a random beach in South Africa until I zip away so I raise loads of questions. It just doesn't make any sense and especially the zipping away, you know, it just looks, it looks off, man. I mean, obviously an object moving at that pace always looks kind of off. My theory is this is probably footage from 2003. The dude filmed the beach and then recently, because again, this clip has been floating around recently a, a bit more. He added the ship to it with CGI. It's good tracking, right? It, it feels quite authentic how it tracks and all that. So it's it's not a terrible job. But I think especially as it zips away, it kind of loses its credibility. It could also absolutely be a suspended model that's actually quite close to the camera. That's why it looks real. But then when it zips away, he literally did that in CGI. So he took the footage, cropped out the spaceship and then let it zip off. Like that has been kind of done in After Effects. It's either or, I can't pinpoint what it is, but again, guys, I think the likelihood of this being real and being aliens and being very convincing footage of aliens visiting the earth, I don't buy it, okay? But please, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Please leave your thoughts on those three clips down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you do, please share this channel, share the show, because there's more coming your way with your friends, with people that you know enjoy this kind of subject. I would really appreciate that. Again, join our Discord through the link in the description. You can share clips with me over there. You can discuss UFOs with other like-minded people. I would appreciate to meet you there. And we don't just talk about UFOs, okay? We've got loads of rooms like where people vent about their challenges in their life, talk about video games. Like there's a huge broad variety of topics that we talk about on our Discord. So I would appreciate to have you part of that community. Again, the link is in the description, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe, smash the like button. Don't forget that. And I see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. I'm out. Bye.